I know you say you want to be the camera, you just walk in. I was, you know, recording. Oh, yeah. Don't laugh. What I'm about to say, the topic is I point out the foolishness of people in religion, whatever. Okay. Christians, you teach yourself this by listening to whoever it is. You teach your children this, and they pass it out to their children. Okay. We all know, like I said, God. He separated the people. Okay? For a reason. Israel, go over there. Canaanites, go over there. Levites, go over there. The Modernites, go down there. Philistines, pagans, worshippers, go way over there across the seas somewhere and just die or something. Look, we know God separates. But religion separates people and divides people. That's true. It does. Religion do not bring people together. No, it don't. And not doing it in today's time, 2017. And did not do it in 2000. And did not do it in 1990. You know what I'm saying? And did not do it in 1990. You know what I'm saying? And did not do it in 1989. And did not do it in 1980. It did not do it. It did not do it. It did not do it in medieval, biblical, it did not bring people together. Religion separates people. Religion divides people. You know what I'm saying? I read two books. That is Bible and Quran. As a study. I'm not trying to become no Christian. I'm not trying to become no Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Because both religion is at war right now. It's proven fact. You know, divided of belief. But I lean more towards Muslim, what got to say, than Christian. Because I do more of a study of a scholar. And I study Christianity. And I'm believing that Christianity don't make no sense at all. You know, it don't. Now, Muslim, I lean towards a little bit more. Because it make more of a sense, you know. But I say that I'm not a Muslim. I'm definitely not a Christian. Now I will say to the Muslims, like, uh, today's men, you know, today, we didn't see Prophet Muhammad walk. Now Prophet Muhammad did start a mosque, you know, over there somewhere, you know. But... God did not appear to Prophet Muhammad and did what he did the same way he did to the Master Jesus. No, Prophet Muhammad did what Jesus did, you know, different, because Jesus did not start a church. No, Jesus just started a follow thing, following, you know. Prophet Muhammad started a mosque and teach Jesus started a following and teach. Okay. But to me both things of these attributes is separate and divided. It's basically to me is titles. You got Jehovah Witness, you got Baptist, first Baptist, second Baptist, Methodist and, and Buddhist and Judaism and and, and Islam and, and, and whatever non denomination and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is separated. Separated. Divided. You know what I'm saying? Divided and split. See? God does not operate like that. You know what I'm saying? He don't operate like that. He always brings people together. Unite. Unite. Come as one. See? If you look at it, Satan thought of religion. Man just took 
what Satan put a title as, and man just took it and said, this is what this how it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? The Bible that Christians read, it has been rewrote. Now Christians is leaning more towards the King James. Now, King James, I learned that what he was either hanging with the Scottish or was a Scottish man. I don't know. You lean towards what the King James got to say. A king, his version. You know? So, this could be funny how I'm going to say this, but it's also telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to try to hold my laughter. And please don't. <laughs> please don't. Look, Christians need to look at this because one is Jesus, he never ever preached Christianity. He never teach Christianity. He never knew what Christianity was. This is what, what the, today's Christians, if Jesus hear you preach this, he will walk up to you like, what are you talking about? I never preached it. What, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Who told you? He will say, who told you to say that I'm worthy to be worshipped? He will also say, why every time something good in your life happens, why do you always say, thank you, Jesus? Rather than say, thank you. Someone that is higher and supreme, most higher than me. Thank him because he is the author of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worthy to be worshipped. I've been to a church on their pamphlet, the little paper, the pamphlet of the what they're going to do. It said, exalt Jesus as most high. Jesus only came to us to correct us. Jesus did not come to the rich. He did not come to the well and health, fitness, or whoever, smartest. No, Jesus came to who? The sick. The people that was in need. That Jesus came 2,000 years ago should have came in this time period because this man today... Me a man, we, we are so that we, you know what I'm saying? We are so, when he said, we like dirty rags. We stick in his nostrils. We filthy. He's talking about us. So it don't matter how many times you preach in your church or preach in your mosque or your synagogue or whatever. You still filthy. You know what I'm saying? You imperfected. You imperfected, damn it. You know, <laughs> it kills me. People that go to church or people that don't go to church. People that go to church, people that don't go to church, or people that don't go to church read the word. But you do this. Being around people that spoil your useful habits. You know? Now, think with me. You say, the blood of Jesus. See, I'm not going to laugh, baby. I'm not going to laugh. I'm not going to get serious as what? It's a serious time. Uh -uh -uh. Look. You say the blood of Jesus protect you from demons. You say the blood of Jesus cleanses you. Listen to my words. Just think about what it said. The blood. The blood. Now, to me, that sounds like cannibalism. That sounds like vampirism. Now, what's more a meaning, more frightening to demons? What's more frightening to demons? The name can keep demons running so fast, they wet their pants as they a trail, as they run so fast. The name of Jesus, and on top of a higher name, either Jehovah, Yahweh, Jehovah, Nisi, 
Jehovah Shalom, Allah. He's told Moses, he said, I am. I am is not a name. I am is like saying, I am that what you call me. I am that. I am. You know? But see, you say the blood. The blood, that's cannibalism. But if you speak the name Jesus, they get nervous. Start shaking. But if you speak the name Yahweh, Jehovah, they get frightened and have a heart attack. See, you've been taught wrong. You tell yourself this and you tell your children this. See? Now, I put it like this. See, I don't get this. One thing that kills me, when you go in the black church, to me, I, I sit in the black church. I've been in the black church. You go to white church, it, it puts you to sleep. You know? You just fall asleep. You go to black church, you think you're hearing the word. But how, when you come in the church, you instant, get on, the, get on the instruments, start singing your life away. Well, to me, I'd rather hear some uh, preaching than some singing. Let me hear some preaching. If I want to hear some singing, some music, I can turn on the damn radio. Or spend a $10 ticket getting some concerts in the, the, up in the nosebleed somewhere. You tell me that. You walk in the church instant. And, and do this when we rehearse. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I said I was not going to. You get on that saxophone, you get on that piano, and start to go on the scene. That don't lift nobody's spirit to me. That just gets you into to start doing all this and tapping your feet and clapping your hands. That's it. And then you do more, it's like, it's like a 20 minute of a whole song. Once that beat start going, you still singing this Tell 20 more minutes and then still, I'm like, you know what? And then when the pastor get up here, it'd be like at least like, at least like 15 minutes of 20 minutes and then everybody got to go. See, that ain't, ain't. To me, the church is a show entertainment. That's it. It's a show entertainment. If you look at it, you can, you can find laughter. Because someone that I know from the past, she posted a black dude, and he caught the Holy Ghost. And to me, as I got older, I said, that is not the Holy Ghost what I see. This dude doing old school dance moves, break dancing and flexing him, and, and, and moving like I said, and moving his face. He got sunglasses on. And my, my long-term friend liked it. He, I guess he put a laugh because it, it, it is so funny. I'm just looking at this like, I'm like, look at this. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, wait a minute. This, if you actually look at this, this is not the Holy Ghost. This is nothing but a show that appears to be a Holy Ghost. And you caught some, how can you catch a Holy Ghost? That Holy Ghost, to me, that Christians believe is mythical. It's mythical. Something that you, some mythical stuff that my brother read about, that's mythical about um, um, Zeus and Hades, and it, this, this mythical, and Hercules, all that mythical stuff. Mythology, that, that's what to me, whole, that, to, Christians believe in the mythical, what some spook God or something that he touched Mary, he got the spirit touched Mary, he got her pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It's just mythical to me. That it just I looked at that that she posts on Facebook and she said total name. You know what I'm saying? And, and I said and he my friend just laughed like it's, it's just he doing dance moves in today's century. I said I said this is this is he's a buffoon. You know what I'm saying? This is the laughter. I'm like I'm the church sister like, hey, hallelujah. I said, I said man, I'm done looking at this buffoonery. You know what I'm saying? See, I believe God. I believe God. No doubt. I believe there is a creator that created all of this that you see. The universe and all that. But Christians, they, their the doctrine, is, is, as I look at it, it just don't make sense to me. It just don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying?
you know, when you believe in the Holy Spirit, then ghosts and stuff. Ghosts is not real. Ghosts is, is, is not real. How I put a ghost is, my ghost is about, got a potential ex. And she's a ghost. She don't exist to me no more. Okay? Now, it, that don't exist. It's just, it, 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 the, the whole doctrine don't, it don't make sense to me. Jesus never preached Christianity. Jesus never taught Christianity. Jesus never knew what Christianity was. Jesus never even spoke English. He never spoke that language. He didn't spoke. See, Christianity is thought of by Europeans. You know what I'm saying? It's a European religion. That's why they put a fake image of him represents Caesar. A fake image. It's fake because that's the not real image of him. Jesus was born of color. You know what I'm saying? Jesus' hair was never straight. Wool is not straight or curly hair. Wool is so, is so... They put that image of him to be more acceptable as a hint to say, bow down to Europe, Caucasian race people. Bow down. You know what I'm saying? It's posted up in black churches. It's posted up in prisons. But anyway, I don't... I don't... I cannot... One thing is the Bible says I study Bible and Quran. I'm a scholar. You know, study. Now, the Quran says this, the Bible says this, you know, and God said, My people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. That's what my ex didn't understand. Stay off that Quran. Okay. How you gonna tell me to stay out something trying to learn knowledge about something to bring that unknown to the known what the Bible what the the um, Quran basically speaks about the Old Testament? You, okay, someone was telling me to stay out the Bible again in the Quran. No. That's the problem. He said, You my people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. I'm building knowledge of something, not becoming something. Because both of the two, Christian and Muslim, is a title. You know what I'm saying? They're titles. Religion separates people. Religion divides people. But see, like I said, if the Quran said, we make men, we, you have to be working with some other being. And then the Bible said, let us, 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 us. You say God is supreme, God is one, God is alone. But he said, us, 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 we we is still an attribute of similarity. We is working together. If I can work, work for her to create a child. You know what I'm saying? We go and do this. We, not myself. If I'm myself, I know I'm all supreme. If I'm God, I'm all supreme. If you would, he had to be working with some being. We, us, us, make men. Let us make men. Spirit to me is, and I can go up to her and say, "You look so that so lovely this morning. You just that's this. I love you. That's that. Yeah, good morning. That's spirit to me. What come, like you said, what goes into the man? What goes into the man? There's nothing wrong. But what comes out a man? That's the problem that people need to look at. The spirit how I approached her." The spirit, how I approach it, came in because I'm about to approach it and release it. You know? And it came out in good spirit. See? I don't got time to talk about all that. You know what I'm saying? Satan, Lucifer, Iblis, he deceived the whole entire world that he did not exist. It worked. He doing the exact same thing because he thought of religion. He deceiving you. He deceived your parents, you, and you deceive, and you go deceive your children and children. See, Jesus never taught Christianity. Jesus never teach Christianity. He never knew what Christianity was. He could walk in the church today, especially the black church and the white church, but go to the black church first. And sit down and hear, like, hear his name. You thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. As all Jesus God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus was like, okay. I indeed see what Moses was talking about. See, the Bible that you read.
has been rewrote. It's not original more. The original Bible scrolls is somewhere else. Need to, it's going to get dug up. We're reading that somebody else wrote. If the Bible, if God said, I, I don't believe God is going to change his mind if he made a law. Regardless of the Mosaic, Mosaic law. If God Almighty said, I am God, and I say this is going to happen, you shall not do it. Why would somebody that's less in power have the authority to say, this is how it's going to be done, but change it around? See, that's what you're not looking at. Jesus did not come to be exalted. Jesus said, follow me. Take me by my hand. Grab me by my arm. Put your arm, put your hand on my shoulder. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. He told his 12 disciples, walk with me. Follow me. He didn't tell Peter, exalt me. No. Worship me. No. He told Peter what? Jay, he, Jay, he said, okay. I make you a fisher of men. Walk with me. Follow me. Why are you saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No. You want to say somebody that's higher than him and say, because he basically, Jesus saying, say thank you to him. He's the author of me. When it came to you to correct you, teach you, set you right. Because in your condition, you ain't right. See, everybody's not going to believe it. Like I tell people, I tell a Muslim, I tell a Jehovah's Witness, I tell a church person, I tell whoever. You don't have to go to church at all. You just have to believe in God and study the Word. I say, I'm not trying to change your belief, but get you to see what you believe in. Everybody is not going to believe that because you've been trained to think this way. You've been trained one thing. You know, this is how it is. Read the scripture. Read it. But the Bible and Quran, when you read it, it gives you a hint to think about what it's really saying. The scriptures. What's it really saying? And you, as a person of religion, or a person that sits at home and don't go to church at all, but look at some pastor preach and just say Jesus' name throughout the whole sermon. You know? And you believe in God, say the word. And what I'm saying, and what Jesus was saying, you're going to say what they said to him, Jesus, at that time, and say to me, in this time, what you say does not align with the word. You know what Jesus will say? Just like I will say. But I want to say parable. Jesus will say, okay, why don't, why don't you understand my speech? I just said it in a different way, called parable. And I say the exact same thing. Why don't you understand my slang? And I say it a different way. See? I don't believe in religion. I believe the exact same way about education is failing. It is. Got my reasons. I can tell. I can, I can look at my own kind and say, this education is definitely failing because we will not be in the condition that we're in. We will not be going to prison. We will not be thugs. We will not be prostitutes or gangbangers if this education works. Religion is coming down with the education. It's the truth. Now, like I said, the name of Jesus, the name of Jehovah, cleanse you, renew you, protect you, blood don't. Blood is this, veins and whatever. That's cannibalism. That's vampirism. Look at Underworld. Look at Blade. Uh, any vampire movie. Look at um, um, Hannibal Lecter. He eat people. That's blood. I mean, that's cannibalism. That's blood. It's, you've been taught this talk. You know what I'm saying? You've been taught this to, to talk this and teach this to your children. And what I'm saying, you're going to say, oh, yeah, it's the devil right here. But see, you kill me. Especially women. You've been raised in the church. And you do still be raised in the church. Or Kingdom Hall. Or Moss. But the Moss got more discipline than the people that go to church. I don't, get, I don't got time to explain that. I'm going to explain this. How can you be, how can you be a Christian? Woman, raised in the church. Christian man, raised in the church. 
Joel with his man. Raising the church, raising the kingdom of Baptists. I'm talking about Christians. How can you be a Christian woman, Christian man? And you got addiction. You got addiction. Okay? You talk so much. You talk so much about God. God this, God that. God this, God that. Man or woman. God this, God that. You do a little change, renewal, but you got addiction. You go to church. Got addiction. I don't care. It don't have to be alcohol. It could be dope, sex, whatever. Fight. You got addiction. But you love God. You love God, you believe in God. That's one thing. Okay? Like that scripture says. How can you love God that you never seen? They hate your brother that you've seen every day. That's one. But my thing is this. I'm going to get to the woman first. Raised in the church. Raised in the kingdom hall. But you picked up a habit. Smoke your dope. You picked up a habit. Like to have sex. You picked up a habit. Like to drink. You picked up a habit. Like to fight. But you raised in the, the church. Raised in the kingdom hall. But you go around as you got older. You go around. Saying, I believe in God. I believe in God. You should come to church. I can get you saved. And all those four, all those four things you're doing. Talking that God talk. Next minute, what you doing? Living that lifestyle. Talking. All that God talk. You're drinking. You're doing dope. Having sex. Fighting. But you, you talk that God talk. See? Uh-uh. You talk that God talk. And then when some, when some man come along, he, he, he hears you like, look at this. She over there talking that God talk. <laughs> why, why she getting tipsy then? Why she getting high then? Why she fighting her sister then? Why, 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 she, why she like that? Why she having sex with that dude? Why, why, why her she got banged out by that dude? She talking that God talk. Why she doing it? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to come as the angel of light and be a devil. Like, what if they did? I see it with my own eyes. My own eyes. I ain't say nothing. Now, look, all you, gotta, all you gotta do is a dude to hear this woman talk. This is what you gotta do. Come pull on a, a, a big ass front devil. Satan. Because devil and Satan are two different beings. Devil is a being that's not godly. Satan is an angelic that got cast out and lost his beauty and power. Now, this man can do this. I'm going to sum this up real quick. Because this is this is a damn front. That's why Jesus, that's why Jesus said, some say that true Jews are not. Watch this, BS. Uh, watch this, bruh. Hey, um, you people are up. Hey, um, I think God's talking to me. And you get her attention. <laughs> I told him what to do this. I think God's talking to me. I wanna get I wanna get saved and I've been through a lot and and my baby mother she's tripping on me and I'm trying to get my my children in order. I just lost my job and I think God wanted me to come to you. I'm gonna come to you, I'm on my last. I've been praying and praying and I just don't know what to do. I think God directed me to you. It was you do. Oh, it's okay. I do that too. You can get saved and you can. This boy like, I can't believe this BS. He just kept a fall for this shit. All you got to do is use that on a woman. She believes in God. Talk that God talk and try to tell others about the belief in Jesus. That somebody else believe in Prophet Muhammad and Islam or, or, or whatever and, and get upset or get upset with somebody else that don't believe in Jesus or God at all. A atheist. She believes in God through that God talking. This is what she do. She like to have sex, do dope, drink, fight. Talk that God talk. That's all you had to do. Come with that God talk. Come around. Show the Bible. And then you want to have a drink? You want to have a smooth? 
Let's talk this talk about God. More about we drink and smoke and stuff. Let's pray. Let's try to pray. Next minute, bam, boom, he hit it. He calls his own boy. Yep. Let the dude do this. On the dude's part. He do the exact same thing. Let some woman hear that. It's how she talk to her girlfriend. <laughs> you see this? You see this? That's how y'all talk. You see this nigga over here? This nigga talking. This guy talking. Like he about to become a preacher or somebody. He become a reverend or a minister. Hey, 